Hi, I'm Justin Conway. I'm a Microsoft Excel expert, and I'm going to show you how to consolidate data in Microsoft Excel. There are different ways to do this, as are most things in Microsoft Excel, all different ways to perform the same function. I'm going to cover a couple of those. Uh, the first one that I'll talk about is the consolidate function. What you want to do is, after you've determined what data you want to consolidate, uh, pick an area that you want that information to be consolidated to. Let's say for our example, that we're going to take uh, my fifth grade class, because uh, it's the new year. 2013 to 14, um, and uh, we want to consolidate all of the grade data um, from, from uh, A2 down to, let's see, G10. Um, and let's also take uh, these numbers out here. So we want to, we want to turn all this information um, together into one spot. What we're going to do is um, pick a location for that. Let's do it at the bottom um, in A59. So select that cell, go to Data consolidate. Uh, make sure that sum is selected in this area. Um, and you're already uh, in the reference area here. It's asking for some data input. You're going to scroll up to the area that you want to put in your reference and select the first area that you want to be your reference. As you can see, it's populating that information in here. And then click Add. And then select the next area that you want to include. Select Add. And you can continue to do this for as much data as you want, but uh, for our purposes, we'll just do that. Click OK. And now when we scroll down, you can see that it took all of the information in the first group and the second group and put it all in one area. This is very useful if you have large spreadsheets, tons of different information in different areas, and you want it to be condensed uh, to be uh, you know, more visually appealing or easier to find. Um, uh, at, at a glance, you know, without having to sift through lots of data. Um, also, another note, the functions were removed from this, so it took the raw data. Um, this is no longer a function that is uh, calculating average here, at, as you can see in F67. This is now the actual number. Um, and that's the consolidate function. The other way that I'll cover really quickly is the concatenate function. So if you wanted to take um, two different cells, combine the information from those two cells, you'll do equal concatenate and as you can see it populates in there. Let's do that and um, open parenthesis. Select the first cell that you'd like, a comma, then the second cell that you'd like, end parenthesis, enter, and as you can see it combined the exact um, uh, data that's combined in those two cells. You can play with this and inside of that um, formula you can add things like if you put in a comma and quotation marks, you can put in uh, a space and then ampersand and then another space, whoops, another space, quotation mark. And so now that you have a space and an and symbol in between, um, those are two ways to consolidate data in Microsoft Excel. My name is Justin Conway. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.